Amanda, thank you. We do want to remind you again about a newsletter that we brought to you at the top of the hour. Multiple agencies now responding to a multi-jurisdictional deputy involved shooting. This happening at Hidden River Parkway just off of East Fletcher Avenue. I want to take you live there right now. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo is there. And Shannon, we just got an update moments ago. We now know one person is dead after the shooting. Well, Angelina, we heard from the sheriffs in Pasco and Hillsborough County. They have confirmed to us that the 37 year old suspect in this case was shot and killed. And I can tell you this was a long morning for deputies, troopers, officers, everyone involved in this multiple agencies we have out here. I mean, when I got here on scene this morning, it was dozens and dozens. We know around 140 this morning. This all started in Hernando County with a domestic violence incident. We're told the woman involved she actually was driving to her house in Wesley Chapel. So from Hernando to Pasco County, that's when she actually called 911 that she was in trouble while on the phone with dispatch. They heard her screaming. She actually ended up was shot by that 37 year old suspect and she has been brought to the hospital. We're told right now she's in critical. Well, that suspect continued on over here to Hillsborough County, traveling through the city of Tampa and deputies are just describing this as a gunfight when they got here to the Hidden River Corporate Park. That's when that 37 year old suspect, he crashed into a retention pond, got out of his car, then continued to fire at deputies. They were shooting back. We know that Hillsborough County deputies, Pasco County deputies, as well as an FHP trooper involved in this. They were able to shoot at that suspect where we have learned he did die. As for the victim in this case right now, she's in the hospital and critical. So the sheriffs are just telling us that their hearts are with that victim. They are praying for her today and all of the victims. They're actually saying that their deputies in this case are also victims that they had to go through extreme measures, use their training to make sure that they were safe. We know no deputies or any law enforcement officers were injured in this, but of course this is a massive scene we have here from Hernando to Pasco to Hillsboro. So once we learn any new information from sheriff's officers, we will let you know. We do know FDLE is out here on scene right now and they will be taking over the investigation. The four law enforcement officers involved in this will be placed on administrative leave. That's as per protocol. I'm live in Hillsboro County, Shannon Clow, 10 Tampa Bay.